So up next, we have one of our founding members of Cloud Foundry Foundation. We have Mark Gill, SVP and GM of the SAP Cloud Platform Partner Innovation Group. Mark, you're going to come up and do a demo for us, right? <laughs> Mark Gill, come on and join us on stage. Come doing a demo? Yes. Demo. Which way are you going? Uh, we're excited to have you on stage and join us here in Basel. Thank you for taking the train down. Thank you for having me. I wasn't expecting to be up on stage. <laughs> we had a slight last minute change, but uh, thank you for representing SAP. Bjorn Gerke was uh, planning to be here, but uh, had something come up. So we're excited, though, to have Mark here because Mark is able to talk about one of my favorite topics, ecosystem. But first, SAP, you know, it's been a founding member of the Cloud Foundry Foundation and have recently announced earlier this year that the SAP Cloud Platform runs on Cloud Foundry is officially out and open for business. There's been an exciting Sweet. amount of buzz and interest around that. Um, talk a little bit about the launch and what it did and what it represents for SAP. Um. I mean, it's huge for SAP. I mean, our, our strategy is, is very much about how do we help our customers innovate? How do they take advantage um, of digital transformation themselves? Um, but our customers also have a very diverse set of requirements. So multi-cloud, as, as your survey showed, is, is, is super important to, to our customers. Um, you know, we need to provide them with choice. They often have regulatory requirements or geographical requirements in terms of where um, they want their applications, where they need their workloads managed. Um, so MultiCloud helps us with that. So you know, we were very pleased to announce the fact that uh, SAP Cloud Platform is available on AWS, it's available on Azure, it's available on GCP. Uh, we also obviously run it on our own data centers as well. So you know, that choice, that flexibility, that, that ability to, to provide our customers um, with you know, applications and innovation in the areas um, and locations they need is critical for them. Absolutely. So you're changing both SAP and your customers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, customer first at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, we want to take advantage, um, you know, of the hyperscale vendors. We want to take advantage of, you know, best in class scalability and availability. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that's been so fascinating to me about SAP, and it wasn't something that was readily noticeable to me before being part of the Cloud Foundry community, is SAP's investment in open source. Right. And I actually learned a lot this morning, even more on that. But um, SAP, as I said, has been a founding member of the Cloud Foundry Foundation since the beginning, but recently announced last week at TechEd that it's now also a platinum member of the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of open source to SAP and the direction that SAP is taking it? Absolutely. I think, I think open source is maybe SAP's second best kept secret after Cloud Platform, right? Um, you know, we, we, as you mentioned, um, you know, we were a founding member of, of Cloud Foundry Foundation. Um, you know, we see open source as, you know, a differentiator for, for us because we want to take advantage um, of that broad ecosystem, the diversity that you talked about um, in your keynote. Um, you know, within Cloud Foundry, we worked on a number of projects, right, whether it's around Bosch, whether it's around OpenStack CPI, Service Fabric. So there's a lot of, a lot of energy that our developers are looking to, to put back in. Um, but we also think it, it, it enables us um, to produce better software for our customers and helps us differentiate um, by taking advantage of that, that diversity, but also making sure that we, we put a lot back in. Um, another area where we've been very focused, we were one of the founding members of Eclipse, the Eclipse I didn't project. Know that till today. You know, that was the, the fun fact for today. Um, so, yeah, no, I mean, on the tool side, I mean, obviously the discussion before about the importance of tools, um, we, see that, we see that as well as we want to enable our developers and our ecosystem um, partners. Um, you know, we're also a member in Apache Olingo, looking to drive standards around OData, um, which is critical in terms of, you know, sharing information, exchanging, exchanging data. 
Um, we're super excited by the, uh, the changing name around Kubo and, and obviously the, the focus on, on container runtimes. As you mentioned, we've, we recently announced uh, two weeks ago um, in Las Vegas um, that we were also sort of joining um, CNCF. Um, you know, we, we see that need to, to offer a diversity of workloads, right? So we see a, a, a common ground or that ability to sort of move towards a common ground in terms of the great work we're doing with Cloud Foundry, but also aligning that with, with the Kubernetes uh, community to, to take advantage of both. So, yeah, open source is critical. Uh, it helps us help our customers. Um, and, you know, we've been doing it a long time. And open source is a differentiator for you, which I feel like is is a game-changing moment in the conversation around open source. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we, we, we shouldn't forget that, that you know, as, a, as an application provider, um, you know, there's a lot of experience and, and domain expertise we have there. But, you know, the community, is, the community is king at the end of the day. Absolutely. We firmly believe that here as well. So um, I couldn't have you up on stage and not talk about the power of ecosystem. SAP is a world renowned for your partner ecosystem and the innovation you do with your partners. You want to talk a little bit about what that means for you and what Cloud Platform represents for you? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think on the last presentation, um, there was some talk about business model and business model change. Um, you know, platform as a business model is, is ecosystem driven. Um, you know, there is no value without innovation occurring on the platform. So, you know, our, our strategy and our approach is to take our 15,000 partners that we have um, and, and really sort of help them as they make that journey um, to the cloud, but also taking advantage of, of platform-based business models. So, you know, we have over 700 ISVs that are, that are building applications, building scenarios that, that augment SAP's core product um, and deliver additional value. It could be line of business use case, could be industry use cases, um, could be taking advantage of a lot of the innovation that we're driving on the platform, which I'm hoping is going to be the is going to be the next question. Um, but uh, you know, we've got I think over a thousand SIs and consulting partners that are driving digital transformation projects um, for our, for our customers. Um, you know, we've got a, a bunch of developers around our app that we're now sort of you know enabling to bring to the cloud through some of the announcements that that we've made about um, you know making our app available. Um, on Cloud Foundry or on SAP Cloud Platform. So, For those of you that, that aren't familiar with ABAP, what is ABAP again? ABAP is some language that SAP sort of has been using for 40 years and has been using to drive um, you know, application portfolio. So uh, we've, got a few, we've got a few developers out there that, that, that love to stay current, and we're, we're making sure that they are. And it's not to be confused with ADAT from Star Wars. So No. <laughs> If it had been Bjorn, you'd have to have gone with the Star Trek, not with the Star it's Wars. Yeah. But. Star Trek. But um, you know, on the topic of innovation and the future, where do you see this going for SAP? I mean, SAP Cloud Platform is just getting started. Where do you see the future? Oh, we're getting started with 7,000 customers. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, um, no, I mean, innovation is, is critical. I sort of mentioned the importance of multi-cloud so that we can abstract. Um, the infrastructure layer, um, make it as accessible um, everywhere. Um, but then we need to innovate on top. Um, and really what we're looking at and is, is how do we innovate around sort of three specific types of service. So, you know, one, bringing our own sort of technology services to bear on the platform. So, you know, things like HANA uh, as a, the, the market leading in memory database, bringing that onto, onto the platform. Um, looking at how we take our 40 years of industry experience and delivering that as microservices that can be reused so our customers and partners um, can innovate using that industry best practice. Um, and then the third is out and out innovation services. So, you know, we, 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 uh, we launched a, a branding around Leonardo um, at, uh, at Sapphire early in the year, and there we're sort of bringing um, our innovation labs capabilities around things like machine learning and IoT and blockchain um, and turning it into sort of, you know, tangible business benefit, right? So um, in machine learning, we've, we've introduced capabilities that, that automates invoice matching so that you can drive automation within the business. Um, we've applied it to the recruitment 
um, process so that you can do CV matching and hopefully get better um, employees into the business, understand the skills that you require and match those um, to, the, to the workforce that is out there. Um, around IoT, we saw the discussion around the digital twin. Um, we're looking at how do we capture the digital twin, um, again, as a set of services where we can, we can um, you know, speed innovation around, around IoT. Um, and blockchain, which is sometimes a little bit more nebulous, you know, we're, we're looking into new industries like, um, or healthcare and life sciences, and looking at how we can do next generation track and trace using blockchain to um, ensure authenticity um, of prescription drug, drugs that are in the marketplace. So a lot of innovation um, is how we want to differentiate the platform because that's how we help our customers drive more business value. It's exciting. SAP is investing a lot. Absolutely. It's going to change the landscape, I think. Well, thank you so much for joining us here at Cloud Foundry Summit Basel. Thank we're you. glad you were up here. And we'll, um, you know, we'll tell Bjorn he was missed, but we were glad you got to pitch it for him. Well, we, you know, we're, we're glad to be here. You know, everyone should try it. I mean, those APIs, platforms available for free. <laughs> so you know, if you go to uh, Cloud Platform at SAP or cloudplatform.sap.com, then uh, give it a go. We'd love to, to have you involved. What's the password? I don't know. Passwords. <laughs> don't talk to me about passwords. That's why I couldn't do the demo. Ooh. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mark, for coming by. And we'll get you untangled. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Thank you.